Hello everyone. We are team number one. Project to create a website on disk scheduling algorithms. So this is the home page of our website. And as you can see, there are several options like home, run algo, about us, dark mode, and etc. If you go down, you'll find short description about disk scheduling algorithm. Down further, there are some terms identified which are related to disk scheduling algorithms like peak time, tension latency, transfer time, disk access time and disk response time. There are six algorithms like FCFS, SSTF, scan, pscan, look and CLOOK. If you scroll further, you can see there is a short description about the first come first serve algorithm and advantages and disadvantages of it as you can go down further you can see the description about shortest seek time first algorithm and advantages and disadvantages of it further down there is a short dis description about scan and c scan algorithm and by going down further you can see a descriptive introduction to look and see look algorithms and this was all about the home page now as we see the button of algorithm on the right corner we can run all the six algorithms in this algorithm page as you can see all six algorithms are there there is a button of input queue where you can insert your queue points from where you want to do a process and also there is a button for read write head that you have to write to tell that position of your read write head now if you do not select any algorithm and you want to click on calculate then it will show an error that algorithm not selected so you have to first select the algorithm now let's say you choose the fcfs algorithm and now you set the read write head and clicked on calculate then it will show an error that numerical values required for queue because the queue is empty now let's say you enter the characters in this queue and try to calculate then it will show an error that says input must be numerical now if you put the right queue and forgot to mention the read write head Then it shows an error that please enter current head position. You can only calculate the answer of the time by choosing the right algorithm, putting the numbered queue, and mentioning the read write head only. Now let's calculate for each algorithm. First of all, select FCFS and put the numbered queue of your choices. And now mention read write head and click on the calculate button and as you can see the diagram is drawn and the final answer of the seek time is calculated below the diagram so this was all about fcfs algorithm now let's go ahead with the second one that is sstf algorithm as done in the fcfs Enter the numbered queue of your choices which is already there and choose the position of the current read write head. Now click on the calculate button and the diagram is drawn there. You can check for the seek time down the diagram. Now let's move further with calculating for elevator scan algorithm by writing the insertion queue and writing the read write head and click on the calculate button and check for the diagram below. And also you can see the time is calculated down there. Now coming to calculate the same for the circular scan or C scan algorithm. Write the insertion queue and write the read write head and click on the calculate button and check for the diagram below. And now you can see the time is calculated right there. Now select the look algorithm and write the number queue in numerical order. Write the position of the read write head and click on the calculate button. 
as you can see there is a graph of the look algorithm drawn there and time is also calculated right there and now for the last algorithm select see look algorithm enter the numbered queue of the processes which needs to be run and then add read write head position and calculate the graph for the see look is there and time is also calculated right there so this was all about the algorithm page now if you want to go to the home page you can click on the home page button or you can select the dsa icon as well as we can show here we also added the dark mode to our website that can be applied to each pages of the website so in order to do so you can click on this icon and there you go the website is in the dark mode so this was all about our project thank you very much